Katie Urim is joining us, and she's going to share her salvation story. Good morning. So my name is Katie Uram, and I've been attending City Center Baptist Church for about six years. I grew up in a wonderful family, but like many families, we've had ups and downs. My parents got divorced when I was three and a half, which was actually one of the biggest blessings in my life looking back. I've moved several times, and almost each school grade was in a new city. I also grew up in different churches, attended Sunday school, but never really connected with the message when I was younger. As I got older, Sunday school more became an opportunity to meet boys than it was to learn the message. <laughs> My spiritual journey started in 2008 when I met the Govero family and fell in love with their son. From date number one, Matt let me pick his brain about facts about the Bible and why he believes what he does. By date two, I was convinced by Kristen to come to church so that I could watch her sing on the worship team. And that's when my seed started to grow. It was the 2010 Easter service at the Living Arts Center that one of the pastors asked if the congregation would say a prayer to let Jesus into their hearts. And I will never forget that day. I said that exact prayer. I opened my heart forever. Something was already different that Sunday. If anyone knows me, you know I'm quite emotional. Uh, that Sunday was no exception. The songs were so moving to me as I sat up high in that balcony and the tears were just streaming down my face. And that's when I finally said that prayer I'd been so longing to say. Uh, they, these were the happiest tears that I've ever cried. The peace and love that I felt that moment were so incredible and I continue to praise God for changing my heart that day forever. Later that year, I was asked to join a ladies' small group, and it was one of the best decisions I've made. I've grown so much in Christ through this group by delving deeper into his word. I didn't really consider baptism until about a year ago. I started to think about it, but then I would catch myself feeling not worthy of being baptized because I didn't know as much, much scripture as others around me, or I didn't have a lot of the, same, the answers to the most basic questions. I was convicted one day in my small group to tell the ladies that I was feeling so compelled to be baptized. The small group was, of course, supportive, uh, but more importantly, they held me accountable. There were many days that once I made that decision to move forward in getting baptized, that I felt like I entered this big black hole where I felt so disconnected from the Lord. With perseverance in bringing that back to my small group, the Lord in prayer, and convincing myself that I don't have to be worthy by my own definitions, I'm here today. I want to be baptized because I want to be obedient to the one who so greatly loves me. He has sacrificed so much for me, and it is my turn to truly embrace that love and do as he commands. Amen. So Katie, uh, because of your profession of faith in Jesus Christ as Savior and in obedience to his teachings, I now baptize you in the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit.